round of invitational on the first tee now. Todd Sinnott. <laughs> Barry Bunter. That is all we need. I could dive first out here. Have you got an empty bottle? No, I'm fine. It might even be in that bunker, is it? Mm, could be. Awesome. It was on the line of those blokes. No. It was a little left. I was going to say, those blokes would have hit that tree. I mean, now you just make bogey. No, you don't. <laughs> How do you get this up and down? You, you bang it into the hill and pop it. You can't hit it into that stuff. You can only hit it into that stuff. Ooh, that was close. Shot. Yeah, well done, mate. Tart. That is a sneaky one. What hole are we playing here? Nine. Find your ball? <laughs> Bang. Well done. Tough. Wow, I mean that's like Sunday at Australian Open stuff, you know, and we had sort of a really sand belt summer day today, like fluky sort of wind, not crazy windy, but windy enough. Stayed patient all day and knew that it was pretty tough with the wind and the speed of the greens. I just wanted to build my score over the 18, 18 holes and that's, yeah, I just, as I kept going through, I took my chances when I had them and... So, I mean, 74 in the end wasn't that bad. I um, just messed up the middle, bogeyed 9, double 10 and bogeyed 11. <laughs> Well done, mate. Well done. Yeah, nicely played. 183 yards. Wow. That's my number. The thing with short irons is because I de-loft it a lot, so I can, okay. kind of, I can kind of almost hit them as far as you want. Yep, yep. A little Jeff Ogilvy pitch shot here. Mmm. Yeah, mate. Get in. Thanks. Beauty, mate. Just a Jeff, yeah. like. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> you like your watches? A little bit. As long as, I'm not, as long as I'm not buying them to make myself look like I'm successful, mm -hmm. I'm okay with buying a watch. Strike is horrendous. Go! I mean, I don't, I don't Good know, swing. Good swing. Shot, mate. What's up? It's been great, yeah. I mean, Considering it was, you know, Jeff's idea there late, you know, mid-September to have this event, to, to get it running the way it has in, in three months has been phenomenal. And I'm sure it'll only grow in years to come. You know, if I was an Australian playing overseas anywhere and you were coming home for Christmas, there'd be no reason why you wouldn't want to play this event, really. It's it's so relaxed, you know, we're, we're playing, it's just, it's such an easy event to play. There's no cut, there's, there's no ropes. Everyone, it's quite friendly out there. Great ball there. Being able to play with Jeff Ogilvy and Lucas Herbert, um, I was over the moon, I was ecstatic. I 
had so much energy that I barely got any sleep last night. I mean, it's so priceless being able to play at Royal at this tournament with two incredible players who have performed so exceptionally well and just seeing their game and learning from them, it will be in my memory bank forever. How are you enjoying the um, tournament so far? Um, I like it. It's good. Lots of nice people. Met good people. But I'm not playing too well, so... But that's still fun. Having fun. It's great that I'm under par for two rounds on two pretty brutal days, it felt like. Um, Yarra Yarra is going to be a great test. I'm looking forward to seeing a, a redone Tom Doak course and obviously PK, the south course there, will be great because it's my home course. So um, yeah, just excited about the challenge ahead. Well, a very warm welcome to day three of the inaugural Sandbelt Invitational. And our next player has had a very exciting year on tour, Sue O. Oh. Here at Yarra Yarra. It's been very windy, very tricky, um, but hopefully a couple of low rounds to finish it off will be very nice. It's a bit chilly for summer, but it's Melbourne, right? It's been a very cool concept and it's just nice to see how they play versus how we play. Um, they hit it so far, but I've seen some crooked shots too, so. <laughs> Yeah, really enjoying it. It's been fantastic to play on some of the best courses in Melbourne in tournament conditions and I mean uh, the actual layout of the courses has been sensational and the condition as well so uh, it's been a great test to go. Good. My game isn't there this week, which is uh, which is fine. I wasn't probably going to be there after hardly any golf in the last two years. So, but I guess the feeling for everyone I'm talking to and all the young players and the spectators in the crowd, everybody just loves loves the hell out of this event, and everybody it seems to be going really well. So, um, that's more important. I've just seen the scores, so it's a five shot lead or something. Um, that's great. Uh, you, you know, you play to be out in front and win golf tournaments and everything like that, but try not to be result driven this week, just trying to play my game and play as freely as possible, which you know, I've happened to do so far, which has been nice and refreshing because normally I can be a little uptight with you know, four round events. Day four, Sandbelt Invitational. I'm excited for everyone to come play because this is one of the best courses we have and it's stunning and it's dramatic and the conditioning is probably the best conditioning in Melbourne. And It's been tough to be a golfer and an organiser at the same time this week. The clubs have all embraced it and the, the kids and the pros, it's exceeded all our expectations.
kind of see how it is. Um, if that wind picks up, you have to play it a bit more conservatively, but um, you know, the greens are the test generally with sandbelt stuff. This whole week has been really exciting playing with Jeff, Lucas Herbert on the first day too. And so it was a really good experience learning from professionals throughout this week. So it was good for me. It was awesome out there today, playing around this golf course, it's just, it's just breathtaking to take in. Um, and to play, put some good golf together with it was awesome, yeah. I was quite scared on the greens and I definitely chickened out on a lot of the putts, but um, yeah, I'm quite happy with one, on, one over, sorry. Um, it was tough, so I just gave it my best shot, I guess. That walk down the last, knowing you're going to be a, a winner, is that's what you play for. It's amazing to get the first one. Um, hopefully it's the start of something beautiful. A lot of people will be proud and happy over in the West and all over Victoria, wherever they are. So I'm um, just happy to do it for everyone that's you know, followed my journey so far.